today's video is another video in the Hachette Disney Crochet Garni Square Blanket series and today we're moving on to excitingly blocking our squares. I'm going to show you how to do this with a blocking board. This came in a pack on Amazon. I will link it down below in the comments if you want to go and have a look. I think I got it as a Christmas present. I can't imagine it costs very much. But you don't have to have something that specifically is made just for blocking. You could also use a pillow with a pillowcase on it. But just be warned that as we're doing nine at a time and you have to measure it out every time, a pillow isn't completely flat. You could also use something like a rug that you could pin your squares into, but again, you will need the pins. So my advice, given the fact that we are doing so many of these squares, would just to be to go ahead and purchase a blocking board. Now, there are several different ones of these available. You can just get the foam squares like I've got here, or you can get those like wooden ones with holes in and you just put the pegs in. But bear in mind with the wooden ones with the pegs in, the pegs are so I think they're normally like a centimeter apart each one so you can't change the size really of what you're trying to block it has to be exactly per peg width if that makes any sense I'll put a picture up on the screen of what I'm talking about right now so my advice is to go for something like this because you can pin it to however or whatever size you want now the one mistake I'm making with this video because I want to get it out to you as soon as possible is I don't have a ruler but I know I don't know if you can see there's a pin here and there's a pin here and they're going between the points of these two squares now I know that these six squares are 15 centimeters apart and that is kind of the exact size that I want my squares to be so I'm going to be pinning six squares apart it doesn't matter what size my square is all of them are going to be pinned like that and then hopefully they will all be the same size at the end fingers crossed just pray with me okay so what we need to do is we need to make sure we dampen our squares there are several different ways to do that you can go ahead and use a spray bottle or you can do it like this so excuse the noise of the tap but all I'm doing, and I've just knocked them off, I just realised that, is running them under the tap. Squeeze them out, make sure it's all completely wet, and then just move it on to the next one. But remember, if you've got a water bottle to spray them, that is the preferred method. Now they're all done. Also, first time showing my face on camera, and how typical is this? I have lost all of my makeup when I went on holiday. It's really annoying. So, excuse the bare face. But this will have to do. So obviously if you use a spray bottle they're just slightly damp. If you do it like I just do it and get them soaking they're going to take a little longer to dry and that is why my preferred method with these squares is to just lay them out one by one. A lot of people will stack them on top of each other but you have to remember that the ones at the bottom are getting less air so they're going to take longer to dry and I know people have reported to me in the past that some of their works have gone mouldy which of course after all the time we spent on this that is something that we don't want. So all I'm literally doing, I'm gonna pick up that pin that's here and I'm gonna hold it down in the corner. So I'm gonna go in through the corner stitch and make sure that pin is in that corner. I'm lifting up this pin, putting it in the corner stitch, pulling it to this corner. I'll get some more pins out because I've got a lovely box here. Count up six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, corner stitch and just stretching. And you can see I've got an exact line here, which is what we want it to be. And then last one in the corner stitch on that six square. And there we go. Now, if you really want to make sure that it's exact, what you can do, and a lot of people don't do this with the smaller projects, is just sort of pin out the sides as well just to make sure they stay in place you can see that that one's got almost like a curve to it here and we want to make sure that it's straight so i'll just pin that one there one in this one and i can't exactly see because it's a far distance from me but there we go 
So that I think now is the exact shape that I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with all my other squares. It's just as simple as that. It's really easy. If you want to speed up the process, just run a hair dryer over it on the cool setting because we don't want any fires, okay? Keep your distance from it, put it on the cool setting and just run it over it if you are in a bit of a hurry to get it done. But that's simply all there is to the blocking process. So I hope this video has helped you. Remember to leave it a like if you're following along with your Hash at Disney Crochet Magazine subscription, just so I can gauge how many people are still following along. If you want a notification every time I post a video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then click the bell next to it and you'll get a lovely little notification on your laptop or your phone, wherever you watch these videos, every time I post a video. I hope you've enjoyed this one. The next one will not be the next stage. The next video isn't going to be how to sew these squares together because of course now these are all wet I have to wait for them to dry and I don't want to leave you too long without a video. So the next one and I've got my magazines right beside me is going to be your Winnie the Pooh honeybee square from issue 67. So I shall see you in the next video. Get your squares done and after the honeybee square we'll start sewing them all together. Have a wonderful week and I shall see you all then.